folks today i'd like to take a casual peek into my goodie haul report for the first week of april of 2012. it's wednesday april 4th and uh, i thought it was a good time to start uh, shooting my next uh, goodie haul report because i've acquired a few goodies uh, since my last uh, report and i think uh, it's enough to produce a healthy one <laughs> and uh, to go ahead and get started we have some uh, loose figures here and usually when I have loose figures in my uh, goodie haul report, it's because I hit up my uh, Toy Fusion. And I did uh, this past uh, weekend, actually two days uh, over the weekend. And uh, on Saturday, I did uh, go there and I found uh, this set here. And uh, actually, I've seen this set at Toy Fusion uh, before. Uh, but uh, I didn't uh, pull the trigger on it and... Uh, the particular vendor that had this set uh, uh, had a 20% off sale on anything in his uh, display case. So I decided to pull the trigger and uh, pick up uh, this set. And this is the San Diego Comic Con, uh, I believe it's the Savage Land uh, set of uh, Kazar, uh, Shauna the She Devil, and Zabu. And uh, this set was originally selling uh, loose for. I think it was $45 and uh, with the 20% off it ended up uh, being about 36 so I thought that was a pretty good deal for uh, a loose uh, set of these three folks and pretty happy to pick them up uh, it seems uh, complete at least with Kazar he's got uh, his knife there and uh, Shauna though I think uh, she had a rifle and probably a, a machete I, I believe uh, but uh, she didn't uh, have that as uh, just her her lonesome there and uh, of course uh, you have uh, Zabu here which is a uh, pretty neat uh, it's got a lot of articulation points but uh, limited in in its range uh, but still a pretty neat set uh, I'm pretty happy to finally picked it up after seeing it uh, a few times and uh, like I said uh, $36 uh, for the three of these uh, so about 12 bucks uh, per figure so not too bad uh, at all now also on Saturday uh, from that same vendor I did see the, this one here this is uh, the uh, unmasked uh, here, let me just turn down the brightness there the unmasked uh, Deathstroke uh, from DC Universe Classics uh, Wave 3 I believe or yeah I think it's 3 and uh, I have a uh, Deathstroke, uh, the Terminator, uh, but in his masked form. And uh, I always wanted to get an unmasked version. And uh, uh, saw this one, and it is complete, although I can't find his rifle at the moment. Uh, but he does have, uh, or he did have, all of his equipment when I, when I bought it. And uh, it was selling uh, loose uh, for 20 bucks, so with the 20% off, uh, basically... Uh, four dollars off so about sixteen dollars so I'm pretty happy to have picked this one up now uh, when I was there on Saturday uh, they told me that uh, they were gonna have a sidewalk sale basically all their vendors uh, were gonna be out uh, in front of the building selling their wares and I decided to go ahead and uh, take a peek on Sunday and I went over there and uh, found a few items uh, that were interesting but I didn't purchase on uh, and I only uh, picked up these two figures and spent a total of five dollars for these figures <laughs> these uh, are of course as you can see not in very great condition but for the price I paid for them I thought it was worth it uh, it give me a little project to do um, in uh, cleaning up and uh, modifying it and the uh, first one here uh, is, uh, I guess, the Jigsaw from the uh, Face Off 2-pack set uh, with the Punisher, I believe. And uh, this guy is uh, was uh, in a, basically in a um, sandwich bag <laughs> uh, for $3, and, uh, which is understandable. He's not in the greatest condition. Uh, you can see right here, he's missing. I think that's uh, where his holster was. Uh, has a broken off finger here and uh, some uh, paint uh, and dirt <laughs> on this guy. Uh, paint uh, mishaps here. You can see uh, some paint uh, removal on the tip of his nose there and his chin. 
But uh, for three dollars, I decided to go ahead and pick him up. Uh, it looks like he's missing his uh, knife too. So, and uh, so I plan to clean him up a little bit and, uh, and uh, see what I can do with him. And I just do some touch-up paint on the face there. But uh, three bucks, not too bad. And uh, pretty uh, interesting uh, on this guy. <laughs> now this guy was only two dollars. And I believe this is the Series 8 uh, Marvel Legends Captain America, who looks like uh, he was uh, cleaning up an oil spill. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, this guy's all marked up uh, pretty bad. Um, but for $2, I thought uh, it would give me a, an opportunity to see if I can clean this guy up and uh, uh, see if he can turn out a little bit better. And... Um, See if I can remove some of this excess. I don't know if it's paint or a marker or a sharpie uh, that somebody went through uh, with this guy. <laughs> so, but he seems uh, pretty much complete and nothing wrong with any of the joints and nothing missing. Uh, the only thing missing, I guess, is his shield on here. Uh, but uh, everything else looks uh, pretty much intact. All the joints work. So. Think uh, this will turn out well uh, once I get this guy uh, cleaned up and repainted. Uh, if I need to repaint it, I'm gonna see if I can remove some of this uh, gunk that's all over him. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll probably end up uh, doing some touch-up paint on this guy. But for three dollars, I thought that was I thought that was worth it. Uh, give me something to do. <laughs> now, uh, speaking of modifications. Uh, I've uh, been having some uh, fun with the Dremel that I purchased uh, a couple weeks ago, but I just uh, the set that I got had the, only a small number of tools uh, or bits, and uh, I decided I needed to get more, and I uh, was able to pick this up at Walmart. Uh, basically, it's a bit set uh, or accessory kit uh, that contains uh, 75 pieces, so you got different kinds of bits here. And I'm really looking forward to this particular bit, uh, number 191 here. It's a carving bit. And uh, let's see if I can show you a better picture of this. And you can see the, the tip of this uh, particular bit will allow you to get into very small and tight uh, locations. So I, I, that's the one I'm really looking forward to using. But uh, you can see it comes with a whole bunch of other... Uh, uh, accessories I guess or bits I call them bits you got cleaning uh, bits there grinding and cutting so uh, pretty cool and uh, this cost I'm trying to remember $15 I think on there so that's cool uh, some of the other neat goodies I was able to find uh, found this at a comic shop here uh, this is uh, another uh, elite zealot uh, from the Halo Reach line, uh, which brings my Elite Zealous up to two at the moment, and I paid uh, fifteen dollars for this particular Zealot, so uh, I just need a couple more uh, to keep uh, an eye out on. And uh, uh, once I get four of these guys, I think I'm good. Uh, and uh, also some other Halo Reach stuff I was able to find. I got this at a uh, Walmart. This is a Brute Miner. This will make my fourth and probably final uh, Brute Miner. Uh, I like to have uh, complements of four for the uh, lower ranks of the uh, uh, soldiers of the Covenant. So, uh, so this is uh, like, uh, likely uh, my last Brute Miner. And, there, and uh, at Walmart it was selling for $12. And uh, over at Target I was able to find some Series 6 uh, which is surprising because they're still stuck in uh, Series 4 and 5 and uh, at a great time too because Target was having their sale of Halo Reach figures for $7.99 and I was able to find an unhelmeted uh, cat here pretty cool also an unhelmeted uh, Jin so that's cool so uh, my uh, set of unhelmeted uh, noble team folks is complete. Uh, they won't be producing unhelmeted uh, noble six or uh, Emil. So I have all of the unhelmeted uh, folks now. So I could stop looking for those. And like I said, I plan to get 
Uh, at least two more zealots and uh, maybe a brute miner. I have one already. I don't uh, know if I'll get another one or not. So, so for series six, I'm almost uh, complete on what I want there. Now, uh, some other neat stuff uh, at Target. I did pick up uh, the Young Justice four inch uh, figures of regular Aqualad and uh, regular Kid Flash. Uh, and uh, I picked those up because uh, I had picked up the Stealth uh, Aqualad and Stealth Kid Flash, the two hardest uh, from this particular series to find. And this is the Hall of Justice uh, series. And uh, they were on the way, and uh, so I decided to pick up uh, these two, which are the peg warmers <laughs> of the uh, line, and uh, picked them up at Target for eight dollars and uh, forty-nine cents each. So uh, I am now uh, complete uh, with uh, the uh, folks from the Hall of Justice line or subline, you could say. So I'm uh, looking forward to building uh, my Hall of Justice and. I plan to use it for my DC Universe Classics uh, figures as a backdrop. Uh, I don't plan to use it for the 4-inch figures. Um, but Because it, it just looks uh, too cool to use uh, for these guys. I think they're. I think it's really a, it would be a nice backdrop for the DC Universe Classics figures that I have. So, um, very uh, much happy uh, to finally pick up those stealth versions of these figures and uh, and these guys are just hanging around that's why I put it off so long so but finally picked those up and uh, over at another target I did pick up another secret strike Loki and uh, mainly because uh, this the head sculpt on this guy is very very well done and I think this makes my third or fourth uh, Secret Strike Loki. Is, they're really clearancing the, these guys down. Uh, and it's down to four dollars now. And uh, this one is uh, very well done. A lot of the Secret Strike Lokis that I picked up early on, the face apps were not too good. And also, I plan to see if I can swap this head and put this head on the Avengers uh, Loki uh, figure to see if it'll fit on there. But uh, that's a really nice uh, head sculpt on this particular figure. And uh, at a Walmart, uh, I found some other Thor stuff. And found uh, some more of the uh, Frost Giant sets. A uh, couple more of these. Uh, these are clearance down to $5. Uh, and uh, my army of these guys... Uh, continues to grow and uh, I think I have eight of these uh, lighter blue uh, frost giants uh, now uh, because I I have a uh, King Luffy uh, on the way and I don't want to uh, build uh, my frost giant army and uh, I also did pick up a couple more of the darker blue uh, frost giants uh, which makes uh, my darker blue frost giants count uh, four so i have a total of eight uh, frost giants from the thor line to go uh, with my king Luffy that's on the way so and these you can see were six dollars a piece uh, basically for the accessories because they're essentially the same figure on there but just more accessories but uh my frost giant army uh, from Jotunheim is going to grow and um, I did uh, hit up a local comic shop and picked up a few books I have here and uh, basically just to catch up on some of the titles I started to uh, read uh, I did pick up uh, looks like Deathstroke number six and uh, number seven I couldn't find four and five so I have to continue uh, to look. I can't read these until I get uh, 4 and 5 of Deathstroke. I did pick up uh, Nightwing number 7. And Suicide Squad uh, number 6. And uh, number 7. And uh, while I was over at the comic shop, I did pick up a few more figures uh, that I saw off of their uh, eBay store. 
And uh, the nice thing about their eBay store is that any of their buy it now items uh, I can purchase and then just go over there and pick it up. I don't have to pay any shipping. So. And uh, I did pick up uh, this Marvel Legends uh, Emma Frost. Not for the figure, because I really don't like the figure. But really for the uh, Build-A-Figure part for Annihilus. And uh, also did pick up uh, the Ultimate uh, Iron Man. Uh, so I am really just one figure set away from completing, uh, or at least having all the parts for Annihilus on here. Uh, I think the only one that's missing is uh, the X3 Beast, which, funny enough, I ha had uh, received, uh, I think it was a year and a half ago, uh, by mistake, I had ordered something and I uh, got an X3 Beast uh, instead and ended up returning it uh, <laughs> so but now I need to go refind it uh, to complete that uh, Annihilus here so uh, those are a couple neat items I picked up at the uh, comic shop and I did uh, find a few more uh, Skylander items and it looked like uh, Walmart had really uh, restocked on their uh, Skylander figures so very happy with that. I was able to find uh, these uh, figures here. Uh, this one I didn't find at Walmart. I found at, uh, I think it was Target or Toys R Us. I can't remember now. Uh, but uh, Cinder here, which is cool. Uh, she's of uh, the Undead faction. And uh, these three uh, are the newer uh, figures I uh, found at Walmart. Yeah, the single pack Ignitor, um, basically, here, let me just turn this down even more. Basically, uh, he was in the 3DS version, the Nintendo 3DS, uh, but was never available for the uh, other systems. So I'm very glad to get this guy in single pack form. And I uh, was able to find Zook, which uh, I've seen in the demo, in the demo portal, looked... Uh, very cool. I look forward to playing this guy. And uh, Lightning Rod, which is uh, pretty cool. I like the paint application on this guy. So I'm, we're uh, pretty much caught up with all of the regular figures, uh, not the exclusives, but all of the regular figures in the line that have been released so far. I think uh, we only need to find uh, Warnardo, which hasn't been released yet, at least I know of. And camo, uh, we need to pick up. And uh, I'm trying to remember who the third one is. Uh, I think it's uh, Wham Shell, uh, which, uh, from what I hear, is not going to come out until probably the beginning of fall when the uh, Skylanders expansion or new version of Skylanders comes out. And uh, these uh, figures, I, like I said, picked up at Walmart and paid $8.96 for each. So. Me and Munchkin number two are gonna have a good time uh, playing uh, the <laughs> with the Skylanders. I did hit up a uh, not a toy page. I did uh, go to Toy Vision already, but uh, TJ Maxx and uh, found uh, this set. And uh, I was about to bite the bullet and just buy it at regular retail for twenty five dollars, but I was glad I was at uh, TJ Maxx and found this set on here and. Uh, this is uh, my second to last uh, figure from the Hero Factory uh, series, what, three, that I need. Uh, the other one being the Witch Doctor. Uh, but uh, Scorpio here uh, only cost uh, $16.99, so I saved a little bit uh, on there. So like I said, I just need uh, Witch Doctor and I believe uh, I'll be complete on that uh, particular series there. No. Uh, I did go over to uh, the video game stores. I haven't been to a video game store in a while, a GameStop. And uh, I went there uh, looking uh, for some p figures, uh, particularly the uh, Walking Dead figures, because I had heard uh, that they were there. And, uh, and these particular ones are not easier to find, or at least this particular figure of Daryl Dixon. And uh, they did not have any more at the Toys R Us where they, I normally see them at. Um, but I uh, was able to pick this one up at a GameStop. And i uh, very happy because I really like this figure here. And he's, like I said, not easy to find. 
and uh, was uh, pretty much cheaper than Toys R Us as well. Only twelve ninety nine, which is uh, pretty cool because uh, Toys R Us is selling these for anywhere from fifteen to twenty dollars, depending on Toys R Us. And also picked up a uh, Rick Grimes here, which is a pretty good looking figure of the uh, actor that portrays him. Uh, thing is, on this one, I was looking at the figure. And notice that he his holster is missing. At least I can't see it. I don't know uh, if this particular one is uh, missing or not. So I may take this one back. I'm not sure. Um, uh, we'll have to see. I have to look at see if I can find another Rick Grimes to see if he has a holster. But uh, based on this picture here, it looks like he has a holster on the side, which I can't seem to see on this figure. So got those. And while I was at the GameStop. <laughs> pick up a, a few, uh, not a few, but one uh, item here, and uh, very surprised to see it. And uh, that's the collector's edition of uh, Tron Evolution. And now, uh, I really enjoyed the movie. I, I thought it was a lot of fun, and uh, wasn't uh, too particular about the game from what I saw so uh, it was kind of it looked all right uh, but never picked it up until I saw this now this is the collector's edition uh, that includes a sideshow collectible uh, light cycle that's uh, pretty neat and lights up and has a display case as well I don't know if you can see a picture of that yeah there we go which is uh, pretty cool uh, I would have normally not picked it up but uh, it was on sale for twenty nine ninety nine, so I really couldn't pass that up. So I guess I will look forward to playing the game now and uh, look forward to the light cycle. So, and since I was uh, picked that up and sort of a video game kick, especially with Skylanders, I did pick up this at Target, which was on clearance. Uh, this is the. Gears of War 3 uh, limited edition uh, game and um, I didn't have uh, Gears of War 3 yet uh, I have yet to finish uh, number one <laughs> I do have uh, number two and uh, like I said I didn't have number three until I got this one here and it was in their clearance end cap for only $39.98 which I think was a pretty good deal because uh, I went over to the uh, basically the current video game release section and uh, the cur the regular Gears of War 3 version was selling for $59.99 so uh, to have this one cheaper and uh, uh, the limited edition I thought was uh, worth it and I decided to pick it up now uh, for my final uh, item uh, there's something I found uh, just this morning and it's also Gears related and it's this here this is the uh, Gears of War 3 uh, Damon Baird figure. Now I already have uh, the Damon Baird figure uh, and uh, the other Gears of War 3 figures because I really couldn't wait for Toys R Us uh, because they didn't have any gear stuff for months and uh, I really got tired of waiting so I, I ordered the Gears of War 3 uh, Wave 2 on, uh, on, on eBay. And then just this morning, I saw that uh, Toys R Us finally uh, stocked uh, Gears of War 3. And the uh, reason why I picked this particular one up is because, uh, as you can see, uh, this particular Damon Beard has the Gold Lancer, which is, uh, I guess, a variant. So I decided to pick the, uh, this one up. And uh, But if you're looking for the Gears of War 3, it looks like uh, Toys R Us are now finally stocking those figures. Uh, this is my uh, casual peek into uh, my Goody Hall report for the first week of April 2012. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.